Hey everybody, welcome back. It's 420 Shorty. And yes, today I am supposed to be getting to show you guys a planting video, but unfortunately, due to all the flooding, my room got flooded as well. And that actually happened like a week or so ago, almost two weeks ago. And I had to have the guy replace the window. And after that, I actually had to tear up the carpet and all the tiles and get the floor to dry out because I did not think he was coming back. So I wanted to make sure that it was really dry in here before I put my babies in because who wants a moldy room if you're going to have seeds and little babies and you definitely don't want them to have any kind of fungus or mold already in the air or in the room. So I'm being better safe than sorry. <laughs> And I will hopefully get to have my seeds in right after I get back from my other daughter's wedding this weekend. So I want to do a quick video of the experiment that I was doing. I know a, like three videos ago, I did an experiment on the evaporation method of making RSO. And I cheated a little because I used a bunch of the RSO that I had already had in my cooker, but to get it out and to clean it up for the next CBD batch, I took the uh, extra isopropyl and washed it in there and got it to be all liquefied and, and dissolved into the alcohol and put it in the jar so it can evaporate. And started that experiment almost a month ago, maybe. And I wanted to show you how it's doing. While the room was wet and getting flooded, I had the experiment jar, which is behind me. I had it above my study area in the other part of the house that was not getting flooded. I had it on top of my speakers that was on top of my stereo. So it was not in any way getting flooded or near any water, but it did not get to have a fan on it. So I think it's taking a little extra time because I had to put a paper towel over it. Since the fan wasn't gonna be there, I didn't want bugs to be able to get into it, even though I have the cheesecloth. Bugs technically could get through that. So I put a paper towel above it, or on top of it, and that way it still could get air, but at a lower rate of evaporation was going on. With that being said, I would like to show you up close what it's looking like right now, because I think it's almost done. And I know it's probably taking a little longer because it didn't have the fan going over it and having that little extra air to move and evaporate the alcohol better. Now it will be able to. I'm going to get a little fan to put up there next to it on the shelf and it will be able to do the proper way of evaporation. So let's look at it right now. <laughs> okay, so here we are. And actually you can see, I'll step back here. You can see the new floor. Yay. Not perfect, but I did it. So, <laughs> and I'm not a floor. So I wanted to show you, see how the window leaked. All good now. But over here, I have my new rack, brand new rack that I'm going to be putting my lights on. And I want to show you the experiment. And you can see up here, it was all the way up here. And you can see how it's way down here now. And I can, this is the paper towel. I'm going to take that off. Sorry if I'm a little wheezy. I've been sick too. So <laughs> it's been a long week. I wanted to, be able to show you. Look how liquidy it is. Oop, oop, oop. I want to be able to roll it. Okay, I might need to be able to use two hands. There we go. I can do it like this. Now, See how liquidy it still is? See it? There we go. It's very liquidy still, but it's getting to that right consistency. I'm gonna try to look down in it. Boop, boop, boop. Here. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm gonna have to set it on the back of my light. I know I wouldn't like to really do this normally, but, but maybe you can see from the side what I'm talking about. There, see? How you can see it moves. Oop. So it's not quite done evaporating yet, which could be the fact that I had to put it up on a shelf where there was no fan. 
And you can see it kind of stays over on the side when it's flat. It still stays very on this side and this edge. But at the same time, it wants to flatten out as much as it possibly can. So that leads me to believe that it's a little thin and that there might be some more alcohol that needs to come out, which is all good. I've got plenty of time and I'm not in any hurry. So I'd rather make sure it was all out. You can see how it moves. Look, see, there it is. There it is. Sorry for any of the specks on the outside of the glass. It's mostly the light shining on it for whatever reason. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how it's still a little bit runny. And that's fine. It might just take a little longer. I'm totally fine with that. This was just in a small experiment to see if it actually does do what it's supposed to do and get thick. Well, so far, this is with the already made RSO. And my next little experiment will be with some decarboxylated White Widow. And I'm going to do it the same way. And I will show you guys that video too. But I wanted to give you a quick update on this little experiment before I didn't. And you didn't get to see the in-between process. Because I forgot with all the flooding. <laughs> So I'm trying not to get too distracted. There you go. You can see more of it now, the way it's moving and, li and it's this liquid. <laughs> Good thing that's back on my lights. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to get to show you guys an update of the new ex experiment. And I'm going to take this and put it back up here. Oh, there we go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there we go. It's back up. And right now, before I can get the fan, I'm going to take this paper towel and put it back over it just so no bugs land on that cheesecloth and no dirt. And that way I will get a fan to set right up here and it will blow on it and I'll have that there tomorrow. So till I can plant my plants, I'm just waiting on a couple more. I have the chains I have are super skinny. They're the white weight, but they're super skinny. And this... I didn't feel comfortable. It wasn't sitting right because it's the two link chain. It's linked together by twos. And I didn't really like how it was setting on the wire. It was setting like this, but with it being really thin, it seemed like it could bend it from being like this. So I wanted to either get thicker chain, which I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna do is either break, get this one cut, or get a thicker one just like this because this thinner one I didn't feel comfortable with that holding my lights I just didn't even though it says it's supposed to be what is it uh 90 pounds I didn't really feel comfortable with it so I'm gonna be safe and not sorry and put them on some good holding stuff because like this this is weight tested for 200 pounds not worrying that this is gonna be a problem so, and I know that this is actually supposed to be able to carry 80 pounds as well, but I didn't really feel as comfortable with this when it didn't have a way to have a beaner through it. And what I used last year in my tent was, were the key rings. And granted, they were really solid, but they were really hard to move the, up, uh, the lights up and down. So I have a much easier way because these are carabiners that just open oh, here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. They just open. I better be able to, cause I was a climber, <laughs> but this is a small one, <laughs> but these are the same thing you would use if you were going to go rock climbing and this just latches and it holds the, the chain. And in turn that will be able to let me raise and lower the lights easily. So hope this is a good enough update. I apologize for not getting my seeds in yet. Believe me, I was agonizing over it for a few minutes, but when, you know what? I got to look on the bright side. I got a brand new rack. I got a brand new floor. And so far the window's not leaking anymore. So, whew, and that was a rhyme. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope y'all keep tuning in and have a peaceful day. <laughs>